Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a totally unedited recording of fake multiplication of this heart cataract. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. And this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Though the cataract is very hard in this case, the nucleus sclerosis is about grade 5 but we are having fairly good red glow and so I decided not to stain the anterior capsule. You can see clearly the anterior chamber has been filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Methyl cellulose has been applied over the corneal epithelium and now capsulorexis is being done with this uterata forceps and this is a large rexus size of this rexis is about 6 millimeter maybe 5.75 millimeter and now hydro dissection is done you could see the fluid wave going from on equator to the opposite equator and now visco again and now is the time to introduce the phaco handpiece into the anterior chamber in such cases, the exposed part of the tip is little more than other cases. And in such cases, I do submarine chop. And here it goes. First, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And then, the handpiece is turned to make the bevel arm and now the nucleus is pushed little down by the chopper and the tip is buried just in front of the main incision it goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and the chopper is used to divide the nucleus as the phaco needle goes near the opposite equator 180 degree rotation and the two hemi are completely separated. One hemineucleus is then divided into two pieces. The other hemineucleus is also divided into two pieces and in this case we could get free nuclear pieces. This is a free nuclear piece and it is being emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used is 80% Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. The machine is Oatly Catarex 3. And now the other hemineucleus. The two pieces are still not free in this case. They are joined to each other near the center. We can just tilt it, apply. Now it is free. As a little energy is applied the band joining the two pieces the two pieces become free then each nuclear piece is worked on with ultrasonic energy and they are eaten up and this is the last piece towards the end of this piece I decrease the parameters vacuum is about 250 and flow rate about 30 and the piece is emulsified at this time care is taken to watch the movement of the posterior capsule if there is some trampolining should be more careful we can do I will scaffold or for emulsification of the last nuclear piece and now <laughs> the cortex is to be removed I have removed a bit of cortex which is from 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock by the hand press itself and our rest of the cortex is being removed by this 22 gauze simco cannula go through the side port to remove the cortex from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock and it is done
some cells are still sticking to the posterior capsule and that has to be removed. Little bit of polishing has been done by the Simco itself. Now I take the irrigating probe of bimanual IA, use the irrigating jet of fluid to polish the posterior capsule. We can see a black shadow in the antivitreous that can be a floater. Now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens in the capsular bag. And by a push of the irrigating probe, the lens is pushed into the capsular bag. and we are towards the end of the surgery. As I have told this is a totally unedited recording and this very hard contract is being managed in less than seven minutes but we don't have to hurry up. If it comes naturally then it is okay otherwise we can take our time and do such cases. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber has been nicely formed and now the integrity of all the wounds are checked, few drops of mox is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.